white and the black pelican i was hoping to get them in some people say swan some people say pelican whatever it is people let's just say the water birds of saint james hi guys today i'm filming from saint james's park this is the intro to a video remember i've done the video already and i'm just going to do a quick turn around so that you can see good so for this thing remember this is the intro that i'm doing after i have filmed the video itself so what i'm here to see are like the water birds so as this is what i'm doing the intro after what i want you to do is just forgive me if i'm saying pelicans when i should be saying ducks if i'm saying ducks you get the point just remember that these are all water birds so bear that in mind i know i really enjoyed my time here guys and I hope that you will enjoy, you know, this video as well. Remember as well, guys, to like, remember to share, and remember to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to the video. Did you know that there is a pond at St. James's Park? Well, in this video, what I'm going to do is take you down to the pond itself. There is the myth that the monarchy owns all the swans in the UK. That's a myth. It is not true. However, the pond that I'll be taking you down to, you will see some swans in it. Those are the, sorry, just making my way through, but those are the swans that the monarchy actually owns. There is an annual count, as far as I am aware, there is an annual count now done each year and if the swans the number of swans actually get below a certain amount then of course their numbers are added to bring it up to a certain amount so i'm just going to take you now down to the pond so that you know you can have an idea of what saint, jo saint james's pond looks like see this one just en enjoy this experience with me people here we go I should say as well if you have not seen the video on the changing of the guard on this channel then of course you need to do so okay so I'm making my way down let's hopefully we'll be able to see some of the swans all right a bit busy because of course it's a tourist attraction as well so I'm going to get close to the pond so that we can you can see what's going on okay let's see so we are in luck so if you look you will see uh, some water birds here as well I know that there is uh, at least one black swan that is in the pond so i'm just going to walk along the area is a bit busy right now as is expected because it is on i'm doing this video on one of those days when they have had a ceremony for the changing of the guard so remember that it is actually a tourist attraction so this is something that you can do in london as well and whilst you're taking in the training of the guard, the changing of the guard, I should say, I should say, then you can actually ask for directions for to um, St. James's Pond, where you'll be able to see the water birds. So there you go. So I'm just going to walk along. Hopefully you will enjoy it with me as well. What a beauty. So have a look. Close up, we can have a close up view of these swans as well. Right here we are seeing two of them. So let's see. Uh, white 
one so I'm, I'm just zooming in a bit let's see if I can zoom in so in the water you're seeing that white swan over there isn't it a beauty what we just make our day is if that swan should just take off take off flying then of course that would make our day but for now Continue walking. Hopefully, I'll be able to see more swans. At least, like I've said, you know, I'm sure that they have like a black. Oh, why are you coming so close? Wow, look at this one. It was really getting close. All right, let me zoom out a bit. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right. I'm going to continue walking and like I've said, you know, hopefully I'll be able to see like more of the swans and uh, it would even make my day if I actually see the different types here as well. Some of these swans are actually gifts to the monarchy as well. So I'm just making my way down. So these are not all swans that you will find here. You see other types of birds as well. All right, walking down because I'm actually seeing some down here. Let's see what that's all about. I must say it's a beautiful day as well. in the UK like I continue to say people just take them in all right some more more water birds let's see these are small let's see all right let me zoom in just a little bit let's zoom in to see you know bigger swans okay out there towards the edge you can see like the water moving I'm not sure if that's one of the let's see I think it's getting coming closer as well can you see guys All right. let's comb the water let's see we're in luck actually. Look in the far, far corner. You can actually see. I'm not sure if those are swans or if those are ducks, but you can actually see. Let's just say water birds. You can see some water birds out there. Us. Here we go. Wow, look at him. Oh. <laughs> wow. Wasn't that something? What I can say, that one is pretty tame. That one wasn't scared or anything like that. Was just enjoying walking with the tourists as well. Okay. I am still holding out to see if you know more of the swans, more of the water birds will come on dry land for us to actually see. But what I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to walk along to see what else I can see that I'm head of the giant.
other types of water birds as well. I just have to be careful. Alright, let me zoom out a bit. What I can say is that they are pretty tame. camera is not steady at times. I'm doing my best. Some of you would have visited this place before. If you have people, let me know. Am I saying the correct thing? Um, did you enjoy your experience? Would you recommend, you know, for others to come and view it as well? Okay, let's continue. Let's walk. Uh, continue walking to see what we can see. Still haven't seen any of the black swans as yet, but I know that they actually have some down here. So they have grey lag goose, they have white pelican, crested dog's tail, let me see what else, quite a lot of dogs, tuft dog, let's see what else, just have a look, these are some of the things that you can find here, that's why I prefer to just say, you know, water birds, because it covers everything, still looking, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So I'm coming around because I have seen. I am seen, guys. So there you go. I'm trying to get closer to it. So what you can see now. See the pelican. All right. Let me let me zoom. So where is it? Where is it? So there's the white pelican. And over here, right there, right there, right there. So that's the black one. Well done. Going towards the white one. And there you have it, guys. So these are just some of the birds of St. James's Park. Whenever you're in the area, on a day, taking it what some people do 
is that they plan it so that they can take in the changing of the guards on the same day that they're actually, you know, coming down to the park itself. So there you, you have it. The birds of St. James's Park. The white and the black pelican. I was hoping to get them in. Some people say swan, some people say pelican. Whatever it is, people. Let's just say the water birds of St. James's Park. There you have it.